Oh, we got some games that won't play themselves. Check it out, it's Junk Plays. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. We're fucking doing this. You got it all set Yeah. Up. Yeah, everything's cooking. Got ourselves a special, special evening here. Uh, junk Plays, and what we're playing is The Legend of Zelda Second Quest. Now, I can beat the first quest, but why bother? I get so tired of it, so I'm just gonna do the little type your name is Zelda trick to skip right to the Jesus second. Jesus, kitty, I almost killed you. Yeah, that kitty. I, oh, wait, I can't fucking exclaim it. You type your name as Zelda and this is a trick? Yeah. What does it do? Starts you on the second quest. Oh. Yeah. I knew that. This is Christmas Eve at the Flop House, featuring as always, the lovely Adam and Craig. Hi. Hello, ladies. Hello, fellow lonely Christmasites. Yeah, we know you're out there. And I got the sword and I can shoot it around. You can shoot your sword. Does this room look like E.T. to you? Oh, yeah, a little. Found oh, no. home. Yeah, well. Oh, here in the lovely green mountains of Green Door. That's a very green rock. <laughs> Yeah, skits. I really can't see the forest for the trees. Yeah, it's tough. So I guess I just kind of got to get some uh, some gold nuggets so I can purchase some power ups. That's what you do. Yeah, this the second quest is a bitch. It's like it'll it'll hurt your feelings, man. Yep. Just ruthless. That's why I'm doing it though to illustrate my amazing prowess at this video game. He's pretty good. I'm decent at this game. I'm not good at all at it. I yeah. tried it once. We're just gonna pretty much leave this to Adam. I'll leave the, the boring parts to him. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty, get your face out of the popcorn! That's not Kitty popcorn. <laughs> Got a big old pile of nip in the kitchen area. I don't see what going around pillaging my stuff for. I took care of you, sir. Pile of nip. Yeah. Oh, that's the crappiest ocean. Wait, what, you, what is this? Is it like a fucking hemorrhoid? With uh, tusks? Tuscan hemorrhoid? Worst case of hemorrhoids. Uh, at least. Ever seen. Yeah. It even classifies. What's the blue one? Is he the leader? Oh my god. The blue one. What's yeah. the swamp guy? The blue leader. Oh, he's just a dick. Pokes up and shoots shit at you? Yeah. He's just got a bad attitude about life. Okay, level one is still inside the tree. I think he's got the munchies because of the nip. Yeah. Got munchies for my munchies. Did you ever see that movie Munchies? Nope. It was like a... It was I like, wouldn't. You might, under the right circumstances. Nate, what are they? I was fucking young, okay? I didn't know better. Those old men made me do it. But, uh, total, total, like, Gremlins ripoff movie. Which is totally called for in that era. Should I bam up? I think. Alright. It was correct that you bam up. A lot of times, intuition leads you right where you need to be in this game. I don't really understand. What, what do you mean? What's your, what's your overarching quest in this game? Oh, you gotta complete the Triforce. Why? Well, because there's the Triforce of Wisdom, the Triforce of Courage, and the Triforce of Power or some shit. And like, the royalty has one. And then one of them's like lost, and then Ganon, the evil Ganon, has like the other one. So, to bring order to the land of Hyrule, you gotta collect all the Triforces together. Why are you just slaying hands? Because they'll fucking drag me to my death if I don't. Well, just leave the room. I can't, because it's locked. You're like paying attention. Look, I can't get in here. So. I'm beset by sword stealing whores. <laughs> Look, yeah. Get out of here. Can't you kill those? Oh yeah, you gotta creep along the wall to make the hand come out. It's like, yes, meat. And the <laughs> they like meat. Every game, the fucking roof dropping... Oh, I gotta focus on this shit. This is gonna be rough. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, I, I've like totally failed to anticipate the seriousness of the situation I would enter upon. <laughs> okay. That was terrible. Yeah. Get... Alright. You know what? Why don't you have a run at it? Oh. To see what we're up against wants here. To see that. Yeah. So to get your item screen, you uh, you hit start. But other than that, it should be all fairly self-evident. Tell me if I'm going the right way. I have no fucking clue. 
What? It's a labyrinth. Does it change? No. But, but I don't know the layout. We okay. Pretty pretty bad. All right. Now that I'm warmed up. Yeah. Yeah, I took your popcorn. It's sullen. Oh my God! So Christmas Eve, we're uh, we're having some pizzas, some chicken sticks. They didn't have fish sticks. We couldn't find them. The only place that was open was Walgreens. Quality company, by the way. Yeah. They fed us when we were. They were kind. The I think they were grateful for us to be there with them on, on this fabulous Christmas Oh, they Christmas knew. Eve. They knew. Yeah. They knew what we needed. On some level, I believe they did. And that's um, the essence of Chaos Theory. You know, those guys look like bells. I hope we encounter more of them so we can point this out. I bet I will. Oh, man. Cool. Are they supposed to be skeletons or like guys in their pajamas? Both. <laughs> yeah. What? You can shoot- Oh, you just got Day of the Deaded, bitch. How can you throw a knife through a wall? That's a question for skeletons to know. I'm gonna you... try it one more time. Okay. I don't like this music. Really? Yeah. That's a bummer. Really. Not at all. What, what's- the, what do I, does it have, like, psychological effects on you? Yeah, it feels very uneasy. Yeah. I don't like blue dodgeballs being thrown. Yeah, if it was like playing some happy ass like You know, you'd be like, eh, this is not much of a dungeon, really. But that music, man, fills your imagination with visions of what these things are actually supposed to look like and not foxes and potato sacks. <laughs> or, or like... Stop it! What is that, like, Mohawk guy and chicken face, the fire shooters? How do I stay in the doorway? Can they harm me? Um, life, um, uh, finds a way. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But with, uh, the magicians it will. So you don't, you just don't get too comfortable in that doorway. <laughs> this shit comes to an end. I'm just picking my moment. Here we go. Yep. Uh, okay, if this were Metal Gear, that would have been ace maneuvering right there. <laughs> we should play that. I'd be good at that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think as the years go by, like, I improve at games. Yeah. But the old games you're really good at. Well, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I played these games so much. It's like, I, I like just remember all the trees you burn and all the bomb spots on the cliffs. It's ridiculous. And the only way, like, I could still remember something from that young is if it, like, I had repeated the action, like, 15 times. Wait a minute, I don't even need to kill these jerks. Well, unless Do you I? want fabulous cash rewards. I No, fuck it. No, you don't want to kill these guys. These guys will fuck you up, right? I don't want to? Well, I mean, give it your best shot. <laughs> um, what is that? Okay, now here's more your kind of class of enemy. <laughs> what are they? A little booger that inches along the ground in predictable patterns. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. They can be killed with a wooden boomerang. Yeah. What a menace. My type. Now that was a fright. Yeah. Yeah, you got the blue coin, alright. That's all right. the type of game I with like. five rupees right there. Give me the rupees. You like this? Are you having fun? Uh, I wouldn't call it that, <laughs> per se. Yeah, what, what would you call it? What's all this? What's this now? That's a uh, animate fire that you have to take care of. Very unpredictable movements. I don't like it. Yeah. It's a little too, like, actually two-dimensional. Stop it. Good enemies stay on the grid. And they can just walk through solid matter? Yeah, they don't fucking care. Oh, so I just came Try in Try pushing here. one of those blocks. Oh. Like, uh, like, like a kidney shape. What? Like, go to the middle of those. On the other side. Try it. That's usually where it would be, yeah. Okay, probably not. I could go into here a little bit. There's, I mean, you can also, like, walk through walls in this one. What? Sometimes, yeah. I, I don't know if they'll have that in the first level. Mystical nonsense? Well, only at the apex of the wall, like, right in between the two, like, slots. Up here? No, like, like in the very center of every wall. Yeah, like that. And those are, like, where you bomb, too. This is dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Look, you have, a, you have a key. You can go through the door. Where did I get the key from? I killed a guy and took it. <laughs> oh. oh, no, this guy, you want to feed him bombs. Oh. There's no other way to hurt him. I don't have any bombs. Yeah, you do. You have seven on them. No, I don't. For start. Bams. 
Now you gotta you gotta wait till he's walking toward you, and when you're right in front of his face, yeah, you give him another. No way. That's actually kind of sweet. Yeah, got him. What? That's it? Then you get the door. That's fabulous. Cash prizes. What? What's that? Bullshit? Boy, I have no concept of the amount of time because it's not displaying. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and call that uh, episode number what one. What was the point of that? We'll find out the point of that next time on Junk Plays.